What is up YouTube? Silver Dragons here and in this video I'm so excited to be talking about the rise and the fall of Palladium. This stuff right here. Palladium is now worth less than gold. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. I hardly ever talk about the Platinum Group metals, alright? You've got Platinum, Palladium, Rhodium. Now, I do own some Platinum. I have a one ounce Platinum Eagle here. Very cool. You know, if I buy more Platinum, it's probably going to be the Platinum Eagles. Um, I also do have a one tenth ounce Platinum Britannia. And then I have one gram of Palladium. Uh, but the main thing I want to talk about in this video here is the rise and fall in the spot price of Palladium. It's been very dramatic. We'll talk about why that's happening. And then stick around because I will give you my opinion on where I think Platinum and Palladium will go in years to come. Here is a look at the most recent precious metal spot price data. We have gold at $1,800 an ounce, silver $2,325, Platinum $967, and palladium 1783 so once again palladium now below the spot price of gold here is a look at the one year palladium chart so as you can see back in april of 2021 we were almost at three thousand dollars an ounce for palladium okay that was incredible to see but look it has been crashing since then we're now down to it says a low of 1680 and that is for the bid price for Palladium. So an incredible change over just the last few months. This Market Watch article talks about why Palladium prices are going down. Now it is a few months old, but I think the things that it mentions still ring true today. So it starts off by saying Palladium prices dropped to their lowest finish in more than a year. And then it's got a picture of some guy working on a catalytic converter, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing there. Maybe he's trying to repair it or uh, steal the precious metals out of it. I uh, don't exactly know. Uh, so it says Palladium suffered a sixth decline in a row on Tuesday when prices traded, uh, trading under 2,000 an ounce and posting their lowest finish in over 14 months as global computer chip shortages hurt demand for the metal in car manufacturing. Uh, so I guess this is when uh, Palladium went below 2,000 an ounce. As we know, it's now below 1,800 an ounce. But I guess that could be the reason, right? I mean, if there's no computer chips and they can't make as many cars as they have been making. And, uh, you know, that's really the main use for palladium. It goes in the catalytic converters. Uh, so it continues to say, the recent moves come in stark contrast to the price rise earlier this year for the metal, which is mainly used in catalytic converters and gasoline-powered vehicles to help control emissions. Both platinum and palladium are getting hit hard yet again, said Edward Muir, analyst at ED&F Man Capital Markets in a Tuesday note. The ongoing difficulties by automobile producers are surely weighing on both these complexes. The auto industry has taken a hit as a global shortage of computer chips leads to a slowdown in manufacturing, which in turn weakens demand for metals used to make cars, including palladium. Also in a report issued late last week, the World Platinum Investment Council said that it expects higher costs of palladium used in vehicle pollution control devices to spur a gradual switch by automakers to using more platinum and gasoline powered cars and trucks so that could be the other thing too there right i mean palladium was very expensive it was almost three times the price of platinum so if you can use platinum or palladium in a catalytic converter then it just makes sense for the people making the cars to use more platinum and that's what we've seen in the past. If palladium gets too expensive, car manufacturers switch over to platinum. If platinum gets too expensive, then the car manufacturers will switch over to palladium. This article talks about how much platinum or palladium is actually used in your car. This is something that I've always thought about, you know. What is it actually worth? Because you always hear about people stealing them, etc. Uh, so let's dive into this. It says, how much platinum, palladium, rhodium in catalytic converters and approximate worth? Uh, so platinum, rhodium, and palladium are some of the elements known as platinum group metals, otherwise known as PGMs. 
The PGMs reside in the honeycomb region of the catalytic converter. The much older catalytic converters usually used pellets before the more efficient and less expensive honeycomb design came into use. The amount and proportion of platinum group metals depends on the age and type of vehicle. So the breakdown is cars, light duty trucks, and motorcycles average total is 2 to 6 grams, which is not a whole lot. Larger engine SUVs and trucks average total can range anywhere from 6 to 30 grams. And then it says 28.35 grams equals an AVDP ounce, 31.1 grams equals a troy ounce. So yeah, you'd have to get to 31.1 grams to have a whole ounce of platinum or palladium or whatever, uh, because obviously those are measured in troy ounces. Gasoline-powered vehicle catalytic converters use all three of the aforementioned rare earth metals. Update! <laughs> Here we go. At current prices, I highly doubt rhodium is still being used. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that because rhodium is like, what, $15,000 an ounce? So there's no way they're putting any, any of that in there. Diesel-powered vehicle catalytic converters use only platinum and rhodium. As a side note, platinum group metals are also in heavy demand in the electronics industries. So if you have a diesel vehicle, it has platinum in there. And then if you have a gasoline-powered vehicle, most likely it's going to be palladium in the catalytic converter. Uh, so how much are they worth? The short answer, depending on the age and type of vehicle, the platinum group metals in the catalytic converter can be worth anywhere from 100 to a rare 1,000 or more. The newer and or smaller cars being closer to 100, the larger, older vehicles could have catalytic converters worth $600 and up. As for the 1,000 and the rampant inflation, older vehicles with the original converter are becoming more and more valuable, something to consider when buying or selling an older vehicle. Regarding the catalytic converter, keep in mind that what the platinum group metals are worth is not what you'll be paid. There's the labor, cost of metal extraction overhead, and the buyer's expected profit margin, not to mention the greed factor. <laughs> it would also be wise to be able to prove ownership. Okay, so they're saying if you want to sell your catalytic converter, uh, drive your vehicle in or have the papers say it's yours. Uh, because otherwise they're going to think you stole it. Now here is the demand breakdown for palladium and platinum. So we'll just look at how much is used in catalytic converters. Palladium on the left, 84% of all the palladium that's mined goes to catalytic converters. So as you can see, I mean, if they're making less catalytic converters, this is going to have a huge impact on the price. Platinum, only 32% of all the platinum mined goes to catalytic converters. But as I mentioned before, if they do switch over from using palladium to platinum, then we could see the demand shift there as well. All right, now let's get to the million dollar question. And that is, where are platinum and palladium going to go from here? Will we see the prices sort of level off? Will we see them go back up or continue to go down? Now, as I've said in videos in the past, I don't have a crystal ball, right? But we can look at sort of the trends and what's going on and uh, have an opinion, at least, on what we think is going to happen. So in my opinion, for Palladium, if we continue to see this current trajectory of less vehicles being produced for whatever reason and less demand for Palladium in general, then we probably will see the price continue to go down or at least level off for a while. Now, is it going to go lower than platinum? Maybe it could, especially if they start using a lot more platinum in catalytic converters, then we could see palladium drop below platinum. Now, on the flip side, if we see car manufacturing pick back up, then we absolutely could see higher palladium prices. It could go back up to $3,000 an ounce. So that's really the key there for me, you know, what is going to happen with the automotive industry? And frankly, I don't know, but I know that in general, we are seeing a shift away from the fossil fuel vehicles, right? Less gasoline, less diesel vehicles, and more electric vehicles on the road. And electric vehicles don't use these metals, right? I mean, they don't have catalytic converters. They're not burning off emissions the same way that the fossil fuel vehicles are. So with that shift in general, I think we could see less demand 
for platinum and palladium. Uh, but I don't really think that's going to have a huge effect. Uh, at least not for the next 10 or 20 years. Now, platinum is not tied so heavily to the automotive industry. There are a lot more uses for it. So I kind of like platinum a little bit better than palladium right now. If I had to pick one of these two to stack, I would probably go a little bit heavier on the platinum. But honestly, my strategy right now is not to stack platinum. It is not to stack palladium. I'm trying to stack silver and gold. That's my strategy, but I know a lot of people out there, they want to diversify the precious metals in their own portfolio, and these are a great way to do that. I just wouldn't go super heavy on them. So anyway, what are your opinions on palladium and platinum? Where do you think they're going to go in the future? Please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section, and I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.